in my case, when I came here, you know, I had nowhere else to go. And then uh, I would say that uh, pretty much a good shepherd is in the mission to save life, really. That's what it is. Approximately 400,000 people in Canada are estimated to be vulnerably housed. For every person in Canada who is homeless, another 23 live in housing that is unsafe, crowded, or costs more than 50% of their income. A homeless person's lifespan is a decade shorter than the general Canadian population. One in nine Canadians has been homeless or on the brink of homelessness. First of all, when I finished my, my drinking binges, I was homeless. So I went down to the shelter and stayed downstairs for a week, basically detoxed myself. And uh, well, they noticed that I was, you know, coming every day and clean and sober. And then they offered me an opportunity to come to the D.A.R.E. program. So it's like these people are in lack of a higher spiritual state of mind, but they look at, for it at a lower level, into drugs, into uh, alcohol, gambling, or whatever addiction it is. And you get obsessed with this thing, and it consumes you. We have a lot of people that uh, end up living in uh, rooming houses. You either don't have cooking facilities, or the cooking facilities are such bad shape that you wouldn't want to go near them, much less prepare food in there. And we have uh, people who literally, even if they had the facilities, couldn't afford to uh, pay for a month's food. My biggest thing was fear, and it was the fear for asking for help. I had a lot of guilt and shame. There are over 113,000 working poor in Toronto, the second most expensive housing market in the country. Homelessness, mental instability and addiction has no prejudice. It's a very visible reality in the city of Toronto. The power to transform lives is in your hands. It's fulfilling the mission of Jesus, really. It's uh, the very basic stuff of feeding, clothing, sheltering people who need it. Just uh, having access to food on, on, the, on a regular basis is, is a great help, for sure. Yeah. At least I don't feel an alien when I'm here. Good Shepherd means gabar, which means to conquer and prevail. And I feel like all the men that I've worked with in the shelter who've been homeless, they've conquered so much. And that's not everybody's story, but the goal is to help them prevail and to move forward to the next life. To run a place like this, A, it takes many hands and, and uh, many different kinds of hands. It takes a lot of people and a lot of hands and a lot of hearts really to pull together to, um, to help all of us. And, and not everyone gets the same fair advantage in life, so we need to be here for, for everyone. We couldn't do that without the help of our incredible employees, thousands of volunteers that walk through our doors every year, and the donors and benefactors that give of themselves to, to support the work. So all of those hands together collectively create a community which is the heart of our organization. At the end of the day, uh, it's not all about me, it's not all about you, it's all about us. The Good Shepherd Ministries, many hands, one heart.